Ladies and gentlemen to your action stations, I'm Admiral Y11. Welcome, welcome to Mech Warrior 5, or what will be Mech Warrior 5. Um, so, uh, Mech Warrior. Uh, it's funny, I've not played either of the two available widespread known mech games in existence, the franchises anyway, uh, Armored Core or Mech Warrior, until this year. And these are both the newest entries in the game. Technically, that isn't true because I did play Mech Warrior Online a number of years ago, back when I think I had my laptop still. Thing is, I didn't play it for very long, and I didn't understand what I was doing. Because I played one match, died, and then uninstalled. Or I think I just didn't, I, I didn't uninstall it initially. I think I just never played it again, and then I needed hard drive space and got rid of it. But, uh, this is different. Uh, we're playing Mech Warrior 5. Um, the most recent entry, it didn't do too well at launch, and I think that was because they took an, uh, an exclusivity deal. Oh, hello. That was fun on Battlebit. That it was. It was a fun game. Uh, but we're not talking about Battlebit right now, we're talking about Mech Warrior. Um, uh, Mech Warrior 5, it didn't do too well at launch, and I speculate that's because it was, uh, an exclusivity deal with the Epic Game Store, although I swear to God there was something technical involved. I swear to God there was something on that. Like, there was something on launch that was broken. Maybe it just didn't run well or something, but I can't remember what it was. Um, either way, uh, we're now long past that exclusivity deal being defunct. It's on Steam. Uh, I bought it for cheap. So, we're playing it today. Uh, XCOM 2 is coming up, but I did say I wanted to take, a, like, a week-long break from XCOM. Maybe a little longer, because uh, XCOM was the longest game I've ever played on this on this channel. Granted, a good portion of it was my fault, because I spent a lot of the time just grinding it out, but, uh... It still took a while. I, I would like a little bit of time to play other games on my list. Um, so, yeah, Mech Warrior, be happy. Removes his hat. Why? Why would I be happy about removing my hat? Be happy you did something. All of the redeems on there force me to do some. Well, no, no, almost all of the ones on that list are uh, are torment tools. They're solely there to make me suffer. <laughs> Anyways, enough enough of that. Uh, mercifully and surprisingly, this game doesn't have any startup stuff. I saved as much points for suffering. Oh boy. This, uh, this game doesn't have any startup stuff like they usually do, which is really weird, because normally games like this would. But, not that I mind. It also isn't very loud, either, on startup. It does have a lot of DLC that isn't very popular, and... Cores are spiking. Okay, not cores, just my software. So I gotta look over here to make sure things are good now. I hate when this happens. Alrighty. So yes, this is Mech Warrior. Uh, although when I saw this first, the first time, it looked like Titan, or yeah, Titanfall. Anyways, oh yeah, it's nice. I have an invite code right there. Significant frame drops. Wait, is it doing it on the stream now? Because it looks. Oh boy. Because it's doing it on my, on here, but not a. Uh... Yeah, it's not spiking anything, it's just taking up a lot of the processes, and it's also lagging out. Uh, oh no, it's just when I'm tabbed in. It's one of those weird games that where my recording software doesn't like it when I'm tabbed into the game. So when I'm tabbed out, it runs fine. But when I tab back in, it starts lagging. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I really need to get OB uh, OBS... Uh, uh, there's a stream program for OBS that makes it a little more coherent. And I need that. Anyways, um, new campaign, recommended it, new Mech Warrior game, we'll play the tutorial. In 2108, humanity began colonizing the stars. Why does this sound like the guy who was the narrator for, Their reach um, would eventually span a vast region of space fucking, uh, known uh, as the Inner Sphere. During its golden age, under the governance of the Star League, the Inner Sphere experienced unprecedented peace, prosperity, and technological advancement. 
but with a great rise comes a great fall. Beset by greed and mistrust, humanity splintered. The Star League crumpled. Technological advancement slow. The great houses, each vying for supremacy, turned on one another, engaging in a series of conflicts known as the Succession Wars. Amidst this chaos, mercenaries became the proxy forces for the great houses. That's Numerous us. battlefields sprung up across the inner sphere, dominated by hulking war machines Ooh. known as Battle Max. The year I is thought now they were known as and these steel the name of the board game. have become the tools of the mercenaries' trade. It's a lucrative time, yet one beset with perils of all kinds. Only the most skilled and brave among them will rise to become legend. I'm gonna be honest. I'm playing on high graphics and this doesn't look any much better than rise of the triad from 2013 graphics wise anyway gameplay wise we'll see like i said this game did have a bit of a controversy on the launch day on the launch days of it Caviar Base, DeBerry Prime. I know very little about the lore of uh, Mech Warrior, by the way. Like, I know about the Succession Wars, and that's about it. Jesus Captain Christ. Captain Nielsen, please report to the hangar for testing. The Centurion is waiting for you. Hmm. Okay, I... I was mistaken. I think that might just be the max, because this actually, this looks, okay, this looks pretty good, for the moment anyway. I mean, I've certainly seen worse interiors. I just have crew quarters in the mech bay, huh? There you are. Come on, everyone's waiting. Get to the centurion at the far end of the hangar and we'll get started. Uh Was it just me or was okay, there was something odd with those mechs and the way they looked. I believe what was it? Post processing? Turn that shit to low. I can't turn it off. Is it post processing that affects this? It's anti aliasing. It might be anti-aliasing. We'll see in a moment, I suppose. By the way, that's the fucking ugliest color scheme I think I've ever seen in my life. Ugh. Here's our mech, a Centurion. Get in the robot, Shinji. Hmm. All right, son. Fahad wants us to run the Centurion through its paces to see how <laughs> the it does. Incinerator. All right, the cockpit looks He's pretty good. He's been months getting it operational again after we recovered it from that ruined factory on Ramen Two. Who? Ramen? What a bloody shit all that place was! I wouldn't know. Hopefully nothing explodes during the test, mate. I'm pretty confident you won't need to eject. No promises, though, way. He's joking, I think. Go on and power her up. Override in game. Well, good. Fahad? Yeah, bring it up the systems now. Okay, armor and structure display up. Weapon systems up. Tactical display up. Everything looks good to go. Alright. 
Keep in mind there's parts on that mech that are at least 200 years old. So ease it forward slowly, and we'll see how it goes. And don't forget to hit the brake once you're clear of the hangar. We have a throttle. Well, essentially this mech is built like a tank, and it uh, controls like a tank. I remember that much from uh, Mech Warrior Online. Look at her go, right? That's my girl. She's a beauty, isn't she? Certainly is. What is this color scheme, bro? Okay. Engage reverse throttle and navigate into the waypoint I've set up. Use your tactical display to see where you're going. Nice work. Now revert to your drone cam. Greasings. We call that Sen 1. <laughs> I, I can't pronounce that. T Tiosh... Tiosh... Hyukam? Hyuakam? Tiosh... I can't fucking pronounce that, dude. Let's go ahead and do a left-right rotation Mexican. test. Yeah, and, um, I'm Irish. <laughs> I've spoken English for primarily n uh, all of my life, actually. Okay. Now let's make sure the torso is working properly. Try looking around in all directions. Do you know how little that narrows it down? <laughs> oh wait, I'm supposed to look around. Good. As you can see, the torso rotates independently from the legs. Your direction of movement therefore may uh, differ from the direction what is... you're actually looking. If you check your tack screen, you can see your current leg orientation is represented by the dotted line. And your torso orientation is represented by the cone. Looking good. Yeah, let's well, not let's well, not go next. into third person anymore. Show me how fast you can get through those turns while still hitting each of the waypoints. Let's not do that anymore. They say your movement is based on legs and not the way you're looking. Yes. Mechs and mech warrior control just like that. They control like giant tanks. Oh, there's another. I don't particularly think I like that. That's just how mech warrior rolls. Like, um. Nice work. The way it's been, dis the way I've always thought about it, and the way it's always been described to me, is it's the difference between uh, the eastern depiction of mechs and the western depiction of mechs. Western depictions. Hold on. You heard the man. Let's go shoot some stuff. Follow me. The way, uh, you know, shut the age, fuck up, I'm trying to commentate. I was right my instructor's javelin. Oh man, was he pissed. Come on, Demason. Oh god, yeah. fucking hell. Go shut on, up, Brianna. they're talking too much. Thought you'd want to know that all repairs to the Leopard have been completed. We're now spaceworthy and ready to take on our next contract. How's the kid faring? He's a natural, just like his old man. I see humility is still in short supply, as usual. Just don't break that mech. We need it in full working order. Okay, thank God. So, um, the way that Western mechs are dep depicted are they're depicted as essentially just giant tanks with legs, right? They're big, they're armored, they carry a fucking ton of weapons, but, uh, they're not very maneuverable. And, uh, if they were to ever be built in real life, which is honestly how they would be built in real life, uh, they'd be entirely unviable because they'd just be giant artillery targets. Uh, the Eastern depiction, which is what you probably would more like, uh, Lat, is that of, like, Armored Core or Gundam, where mechs are much faster, they're more like giant people than they are tanks with legs. Well, I can see an argument for both. 
Personally, for me, it depends. Uh, thing is, though, um... Buying every Armored Core game as we speak. Uh, good luck, because, uh, most of them are, uh, PlayStation exclusive. Except 5, which I think was also on Xbox, or 4. And, uh, 6 is the only one that's on PC. The ramen question. Hey, don't say that on here, dude. Uh, I don't know. I know nothing about this, Sony. No, uh, that's not my not my specialty. Now, if you can hey, get yourself a hold of a physical copy of the game, good luck though, because they charge they overcharge for that shit. Frankly, Pardon, what am I stuck at the speed limit now? Thirty nine. Raw means read-only memory, not whatever silly billies are thinking of. Listen, it doesn't matter to Sony. If they think you're stealing their games, they'll fucking go after you, just like Nintendo. I will say, I've always liked mechs that look more like that back there than I do the more humanoid ones. The chicken walkers. I don't know, man. I chew on bottle caps. You shouldn't. You should be putting those in a jar and saving them for the apocalypse. Only to be killed before you can utilize them and somebody else will wander into your house and find them shoved into your safe. Along with, um, a weird improvised weapon, uh, two gold bars, um, some 44 magnum rounds. Oh, now my, now I'm not running the speed limit anymore. Have you no buddy? Plastic bottle caps are pennies, and metallic bottle caps are dollars. I'd have at least 46 cents. Shit, I'd be a lot more richer than you. Ooh, is this target practice time? Weapon systems are now online, gents. Be gentle, hey. Always, my friend. I do want glass coke bottles, though. I do want those as well. Those are those are nice. <laughs> All right, I've mapped the auto cannon to weapon group one. You're free to fire whenever you're ready. Um, that's not exactly an auto cannon. Shells in the middle of a firefight. It could be your last one. Lasers are mapped to weapon group two. Fire them when ready. All right, that's good enough. Those lasers generate significant heat. Yeah, we gotta watch our heat levels in this. I want to pop one open by slamming the bottom of the cap into my desk and just hoping to fuck the bottle cap comes off before my desk. And it could trigger a shutdown, so keep that in mind. Very similar rules to Vox Machina, by the way. Long-range missiles are set to weapon group three. The target lock has been disabled for the moment, but never mind that. Just go ahead and fire at will. I think I can use my mouse to do this. Yep. Track unless you have a target lock on something. Yep, they're as dumb as a post without it. Let's try targeting a drone first, and this time before you fire your LRMs. I like how these mech shooting ranges would cost hundreds of thousands of dollars, not millions of dollars to rebuild. I think this is literally just the thing of, uh, or just an area of ruins. Target acquired. Difference having that target lock, doesn't it? No, it kind of didn't. Next step is to test moving and firing at the same time. I've set up a series of aerial targets for you. Move through the aerial combat course as quickly as you can and shoot the drones down. I'll meet up with you on the other side. Target acquired. Target 
I don't know, man. I'm blowing them up just fine with the regular cannon. Did I miss one? I did. Oh, wait, are they respawning? I think they might be respawn. No, those are on the other side of the map. I see. How do you tell which way your legs are facing without moving? Um, on the bottom of the map, the arrow, the dotted arrow indicates where your mech's facing, where your legs are facing, and the cone is where you're looking. Yeah, um... Bullet is faster than lock, I'm gonna be honest. But I'm gonna have to learn how to do that, I suppose. Fastest Western Civilization mech. Actually, no. This is medium speed, I think. It's Centurion, so it's a heavy one. Also, if you want to see the faster ones, uh, look at Brigador. Note the center torso on that first mech. It's reading heavily damaged. Destroying the CT will destroy the mech no matter its relative condition. Go ahead and destroy the center torso. Laser hits one leaf one time for one second, instantly creates a turbo hell wildfire. Yeah, basically. Huh? See that second mech? Both legs are heavily damaged. With one leg destroyed, mechs become easy targets. Both legs? <laughs> It's over for them. I can punch him. Both legs. I can punch him. Nicely done. The cockpit on that third mech is seriously damaged. It's a difficult shot to make, especially in the chaos of battle. But the fastest way to take out a mech is to eliminate the pilot. Go ahead and try shooting the cockpit. There you go. Now we're almost done. The battle simulation I've set up for you is the last hurdle. Follow me. Alrighty. You're gonna go head to head with an urban mech. They're slow and poorly armored. Perfect for this particular test. Should be a piece of cake for a pilot like you. One moment, lads. Oh, never mind. Start right now. My auto cannon isn't firing for some goddamn reason. So let me just plow straight through here. You know what, motherfucker? You're getting uh, you're getting hands.
Why is my main gun not working? <laughs> call it a day. The Centurion seems fully fit and ready for battle. They just completely disabled back. my main gun. Larry character isn't a mech pilot, your character is just the mech. Where is like, the Evangelion style mechs for the neural system rejected to the direct movement of the mech you're piloting? That, that's Armored Core. Yeah, you have referenced Armored Core. That's Armored Core. Yeah, that's Armored Core. Technically, that's, that's actually the theme of a lot of Eastern mech games, technically. Evangelion, Armored Core, uh, fucking 86? Uh, wait, does 86 count? Pretty sure it does. Although that's not a game, that's an anime. Gundam, I think, I think you're neurally linked in Gundam. In some way, anyway, I think halfway. Brigador, technically, you're neurally linked as well. But that's a Western style. But it's common in mechs. It's just, uh, not a mech warrior. Hello, uh, mechs, but piloted like one of the $100,000 VR racing setup rigs. That's, that's mech warrior. You see anyone, son? That, the that's mech warrior. The last checkpoint were empty. Something's up if they're missing paint. Did you not see the cockpit I was in? This is Commander Mason of Major Campbell. Make We're a not note. From, like inside the mech. Looks like someone is gonna need a lesson in paying their bills on time. Mm -hmm. That's odd. What the hell? Commander Mason, I repeat, a massive invasion force is attacking the planet. Acknowledge. I have a visual. Well, you are not a cow. That's just the mech of that. To take what we have and go. The fastest way is across the swamp. Captain, where are you going? It's possible they left the cash at the last checkpoint in the city. Let's get the money and run, Commander. This is reckless. We need to get back to base. They're distracted with the invasion. We'll be in and out before they know we're here. <sighs> Let's hope it's not us they're after. Alright, so our first move in the middle of an invasion is, uh, steal the city's money. I don't like this, son. This is a ghost town. Uh, he just Close. got hit by an invasion force. I can smell the sea bills. There's nothing Stealing money from the government. Yeah, this is my kind Relax. of thing. We'll be out of here in no time. We're being tagged! Look out! Incoming airstrike! What's your status? I'm fine, Commander. Left arm is offline is all. That was close. Return to base now. I am not leaving you behind. We were set up, and you're in no shape to fight. Meet me at the extraction point with the Leopard. Go! Now, Captain! Damn it. On the move. You're not gonna mention the fact that the whole reason why you're in the city is because... Mason decided to do this. I've got eyes on. Identified. Hunchback and King Crab. Uh, damn it. Rihanna, any idea what these guys want? I picked up some chatter about coordinates of some kind. That mean anything to you? Coordinates? No, Rihanna. Promise me you won't leave without Jake. Promise me. Commander, I promise. So it's all gonna be in a cutscene, or? Captain Mason, watch your stasis. I've got a bug on my tail. I feel like this cutscene was recorded in game, like, like, like a machinima.
instead of it being like an actual cutscene. And that's kind of lame. Well, lame in the fact that uh, I can't play it. Like, this should have been something I played for, frankly. Off. We can't leave him here. We gotta get him support. Dad, we're coming. No, leave now. The Cavaliers need you. Ugh. I'm leaving you in command. You're going to do great things. I just know it. No! By the way, these things have ejection ports on them. Like the whole cockpit just pops out, so uh I'm sorry, Captain. I have to get us out of here. Hold tight. That whole thing should have been a sequence I played through, frankly. Like, I, 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 like, the moment the tutorial ended, it should have, like, after the, oh, we can go into the city and get the money, it should have switched back to the game. That whole sequence should have just been something I played through. And I'm a little annoyed that I didn't. Anyways. Also, what about this? <laughs> oh, you just pinged off it. I think if you have to fucking go to have Machinima S cutscenes, you should stop making video games. Yeah, that's that's kind of fair. Commander, sorry to wake you, but our sitrep has changed. Head to the bridge as soon as possible. Yeah. Like if it's an actual animated cutscene, that's fine, but like uh machinima style cutscenes are uh No, if you're gonna do a machinima style cutscene, just give it over to the player. Right? Oh, it has a little helmet. Look at that one. Look at that. He's got a little helmet. I like that one. That one has a helmet. I like this one specifically because he has a helmet. What are the ones we got in here? Uh, we've got our Centurion here. Too many scripted events for you, Unreal Boy? <laughs> we've lost its arm. I don't even remember what was on the arm. I don't think anything was on the arm. Uh, we don't have any other mechs. It's just the, uh, the Centurion, and whatever this helmeted one is. It's very clear to me that this helmet was designed in a way that, uh, it doesn't have a visor on it. And I'm still getting that weird animation shit. You know how Mandalore in um, his Callisto Protocol video said that... Uh, like the shadows looked like bugs? That's what his fucking hand looks like. That's what that looks like to me. Hey, Kit Samta, what's going on? Alright. Oh, I have to talk to you. It doesn't happen with you, though. You don't have the... Okay. No, a little. Kind of do a little. Oh, wait a minute. I have to be on the other side of the Commander, board. Here we go. Good to see you all. We haven't really had a chance to speak since your father was killed. I'm not much for sentimentality. But I worked with your father for a long time. He was a good man. Hell, he sacrificed his life to save ours. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen next, but whatever it is, I'd like to be part of it. I'd like to stay on as your ops commander. That is, if you'll have me. You kidding me? Your family, Rihanna. Or as close as I have now. Besides, I'm going to need you. Yes. I suspect you will. About our Citrep, it's not great news. Those bastards that came after us are in the process of setting up a blockade of the system. Which means, we're going to be trapped here with a tightening noose around our necks, unless we do something about it. Right. Who are these guys? Another mercenary outfit, by the looks of it. I don't know more than that at the moment. They have a and red color scheme, and that's all we know. Looking for? Not a clue, but we're going to find out. 
First things first, we need transport out of the system. That means a jump ship. I sent out a transmission right after the attack through the HPG. The message was for a longtime client of your father's and an old friend of mine. Name is Spears. He has powerful connections. I'm hoping he can help us out. Until mm. I hear back from him, there's nothing we can do except lay low. In the meantime, Fahad wants Hello, to see Hal. you down in the hangar. Welcome. The Centurion needs repairs and he wants to discuss them with you. Also, it seems like they are. Uh... let you know when I hear back from Spears. Copy that. Seems like the menu isn't, or uh, it seems like the menu was the only thing lagging me out because this isn't. This is running fine now. Uh, helmet. Oh shit! Our fucking legs got ripped open too. I didn't even realize that. Five bucks. That Centurion is out of commission now. His helmet looks normal. Fuck is your vest supposed to protect? Your stomach, dude? Just your stomach? Got all these shells. Are these missiles? Which ones are missiles and which ones are shells? I don't give enough shit to figure it out. They're props. It's not like I actually have to manage the ammunition on the ship. I don't think, anyway. No, no, that would have been in Battletech, and I stopped playing that. We tried playing that, and I wasn't very good at it. Hey, mate. Figured you'd want an update on the Centurion. Took a bloody beating back there, so fair warning. It's gonna be a while before she's operational again. Means you're gonna have to get comfortable with the light mech over in Bay 1 for now. Hmm. She's a good girl. Won't let you down and treat her, right? I'll do my best. Yeah. Heard that before. Anyways, you know the drill. Access the repair terminal here. Once you're done, I'll get started on the work, eh? Okay? Gray mech, two ways to repair all damaged armor, structure weapons on mech. Uh, Q. Oh, man. We have two million credits, and it's going to cost us almost a quarter of them. What is this? A javelin. It has a helmet. You're in a conflict zone. Repairing and refitting mechs is more expensive and time-consuming. This one appears to have... I don't know, actually. It's gonna take a month and a half to get this one fixed, though. Oh, there's stairwells right here. God damn it! What the fuck are these? What is this thing? Oh, we can just access all of this from right here. Look at this. Neat. Arm for other mechs. That right there? Uh oh. <laughs> nah. I see now. It's like store. I see. Now I yeah. Now I see. I, I'm looking at it now, and now it's it's making sense. Doesn't seem like it has much of range of motion to put them in, though. Like, how are you supposed to get them in? Doesn't look like it moves much. It looks like you can move, like, left to right a little bit, and then the, like, top arms, like, lower and raise to lock down onto the shoulders of the mech. Maybe it can go up and down, but, uh... Well, forget the ammunition racks currently there. There's a stairwell in the way. On both sides. Hmm. Does that mean we're limited to only eight mechs? Not that I'm gonna be buying them. Hey, Commander. Yes? yes? I've received a transmission from Spears in response to my request for help. That was quick. Take a listen. Two ways you're sort of drop or land. I, I know that much, but I'd be mean, like kind of putting it onto the about those Nikolai. arms. He was a good man. And His name was Nikolai. Pilot, he'll be sorely missed. I like how no one's acknowledging it that it's his son's fault that this all that his father died. Because his son was like, "Oh yeah, let's go to the bank of the city and steal the money." 
Let's go, I think Dad. I'm on a plan to get you safe passage out of the system. Like it's, he, he, if it's he didn't do that, time. I expect you already know by now that whoever attacked you has set up a blockade to prevent your escape. It's a large system, though, so we can use that to our advantage. As soon as you receive nobody's this, acknowledging it, I but that's what happened. To the outermost planet in the system. Maybe he's the only one who Still knows. More than a hunk of ice with a few leftover mining operations. But it's, on it's it. just weird to me that no There's one's an acknowledging abandoned it. power station there. Now I've got it on good authority that local raiders are using it as a secret cache for their ill-gotten goods. I know you can use supplies and materials for your repairs. I expect you'll find what you need at that location. I've attached the exact coordinates to this message. Once I have a proper plan in place, I'll contact you again. For now, be safe. All right, time to suit up, Commander. I've already input the coordinates. All I need is for you to sign off and get us there. Understood. All right, first things first. Um, I kind of need to know what the hell is going to be on this uh, light mech, on this javelin. Because, um... As nice of a helmet as that is, I kind of need to know what the hell it's, uh strapping, you know? But it's mounting. Because this thing had its big gun on the side. And the missile pod here, and then the laser diode. Okay, so those are lasers. So we have lasers aboard. But so far, the only thing this thing looks like it's capable of is shooting with lasers and punching things. I don't mind the punching. Wait, can I color it? Okay, load out. There we go. So we have nothing. All right, we have nothing in the arm slots. It's just. All right. I remember. Okay, I'm remembering this. This whole system. Because this, uh, this whole thing was a. Um, this is in what you call it, Mech Warrior Online. This is kind of what had me confused. All the different armor stats and whatnot. Oh boy. <laughs> We're getting a headache already thinking about it. AFK, my turn to do dishes and cook dinner. Fair enough. Uh, I can paint it though. Look at that. Alrighty. Uh. So that's what it's primarily colored like. And we have what appears to be the color schemes of other... Oh. Hmm. Look at that. Got the color schemes of all the other mercenary groups in the area. Can't seem to give it a logo, though, which is a little disappointing. me to get the color scheme right, though. I don't know why, for, like, recently I've just been kind of going for a, uh, a different kind of design. It's odd. Because this is the patterns. Interesting, interesting. I've been using a lot of Homeworlds color schemes. Specifically just right, just the standard Hagarin color scheme and Kith Somtau, which there's not much difference, but uh, there are slight differences. Oh. 
<laughs> the mech has fish let has fish nets. <laughs> no, we we won't be using that one. Um This was another paint scheme I sometimes use. I think I got it from Jets and Guns. I very rarely use it though. Oh, hey, look at that. I think more games need to do that with the hex codes. Look at that. Your brain. What do you mean your brain? What's wrong? Also, if you think, if you think anything I'm doing here is ridiculous with the customization, uh, you should see how long it took me to make one emblem in Armored Core Six, because I went and made that that, that Higarin insignia that I made. Ooh, that took longer than it should have. Nice, great game. Hello, Ergle. I heard spotty things about five, and um, frankly, my first major complaint was that the first like scripted cutscene was quite literally just a machinima, and should have just been a level sequence. Like I should have played that through, and I'm a little annoyed that I didn't, or that I wasn't allowed to. I am of the opinion that if you have to make a machinima for your cutscene in your game, just let the player take over. Because, because at that point, the game's already... Mm, the game has already been running. Just switch over to that. Hold on real quick, does this work? Yeah, it does. Look at that. I kind of want to make it... I kind of want to make this one look like an Aegis. Here, hold on. All right. Just so y'all know what I'm talking about. It's this. Kind of want to color it like that. Very vaguely experimented with that a little earlier. It's kind of what it was before, but, uh... So far, it's not bad, but there are, like, parts of it that are a little spotty. Like the aforementioned, uh... Okay, we got the color scheme down, uh... Fucking ear. You know, this has a checkerboard thing on it. If I could get that, I could I'd probably use it. Could make it look like a spacer mech.
I was very glad they added co-op. They added co-op to this game? Shit. I didn't know that. Neat. Unfortunately, I will be playing this one on my own. I got too many games that uh, I play co-op. I need, uh, not fallbacks, but ones I don't do. Co-op story and co-op merc. Mod support too. For the co-op. Nice. Sherman. Ooh. Um, problem with the Sherman. I'm not seeing the, uh... Oh, you know what? It's on the helmet, I'm pretty sure. I might take this one. Kind of like this one, though, only because it kind of makes, uh... It makes the armor plating look like ERA. I just want to see one thing here. No. I for a moment thought that if I changed the color, uh, changed this color here, it would make it look like um, a uh, fuck it. What are they? Not corner. What are they called? Hold on, I gotta scroll down to the Brigador, the Loyalist stuff. The, uh, the Solo Nobre army. Uh, paint scheme, but it didn't. Yeah, I think I'll stick with this for now. Easier than painting miniatures. Don't I know that? Alright, few transmissions. 50,000 C bills? Okay. Before you accept a mission, given the opportunity to negotiate the contract. Base payout is a fixed amount. Contract C bill payout should be negotiated is an additional amount you'll be paid if you complete the contract's objectives. Based some of the base payout and C bill payout is added. Could I do this back in Battletech? Because that probably was my issue with earning money. Salvage shares are used after finishing a contract to claim mech, weapon, and equipment salvage from the battlefield. The more valuable the salvage, the more shares it will cost. Damage coverage is the insurance that pays out to cover the cost of damage suffering during this particular contract. Okay. Visibility is poor. Glacial ice in the morning. Ten days of time. Battle area is 25 kilometers squared. It is the campaign mission. Fighting bandits, they are indifferent. Um, we only have one point. I'm gonna dump it into sea bills for now. Because uh, that'll cover the cost of, well, everything really. Uh, we have bills. Got no other pilots, no other mechs. Can't do much. Uh, can't do much else. Ready. I don't know how well this will go because I only have lasers and no cannons. I have infinite ammo at the very least. Uh, I'm not sure if I have infinite fuel. I think what I'll do later is uh, I might do co-op and mod it once I finish the base game. As I usually do when it comes to games like this. I play it a little bit on default and then mod it. I wasn't even aware this game had co-op, frankly, so... The station is located on the other side of the ridge. You should be able to make your way through the pass undetected. That javelin you're piloting is lightly armed, Commander. Yeah, I am aware. If it aware. in firepower and armor, it makes up in speed and mobility. I'm sure you wish the Centurion was repaired and ready to go. For this particular mission, though, the Javelin is the mech best suited for the job. 
And hey, it has jump jets. They could come in handy. Yeah, it does have jump jets. Try, Rihanna, but I'd still rather have the Centurion. Well, can't blame the girl for trying. Yeah, I've got my left and right hand hooks, so uh, I'm good. The power station being used by these raiders is derelict, Commander. But you can bet its perimeter defenses won't be. My guess, the raiders will have turrets stationed around the perimeter. If that's the case, it means they must have a generator close by. Find and destroy that generator before assaulting the plant, and you'll have a much easier time of it. Got Roger. it. Roger. Thanks. Heads up, Commander. I'm detecting enemy units up ahead. Could be a raider patrol. Copy. Oh, well, they found me. Come on, go down, you're a tank. Oh, he's he's got machine guns. He also can't appear to hit me. Uh, they said so. Oh, there's the turret. If I were to say, uh, I don't even know if I'm hitting it. Yes, now I am. The music is fitting, but it does sound a little generic, I'm gonna be honest. My lights are taking a little bit of a... Hopefully it doesn't cost too much to repair this thing. It's a light mech after all. Would sure hope it doesn't take too much. Also, I did just realize there's a range indicator on this. The effective range of this uh, gun. Well, the turrets didn't seem to be much of a big problem to begin with, so... Good thing it regenerates. Uh, where's... It says there's an enemy here, but I don't see him. Oh, there they are. Also, is the outline the armor and the inside of it the hull? I'm assuming that's how it works. Logically speaking, anyway. Okay, there's a geothermal power plant. 
plant up ahead. There's a number of storage buildings in and around the plant itself. I suspect that's where they're storing their loot. Time to smash and grab, Commander. Once you locate the storage crate, mark it for pickup, and move on to the next building. From my initial scans of the site, I've marked where I think the crates could be located. Look there first. That is a crate. I don't know what's in it. Good work. Marks for pickup. Commander, it appears that derelict plant has a network of backup generators running. Destroy them if you can. All right, but I'm breaking all this first. Oh, hello. Legs too much. Okay, mark salvage crates. Ooh, those look big. I'm assuming it's a case of if I get close to them, it'll mark them. This planet's seen better days. And again, it also is a glacial planet, so maybe it's just like that. How much you want to bet there's something in there? Let's take a look. I was about to call that thing an AC. Actually, can I mark this thing for salvage? It's just here. I don't know if it's hostile, but... Oh, um... I guess I can't. Armor on one of my, uh... chest plates appears to be failing. Also, I just noticed on the uh, compass, look at that. It shows you how far um, left or right you are. That's pretty sick. I like that. I sure hope barreling through these buildings with reckless abandon isn't, uh, putting me at risk. Like, damn and shit. That'd suck. Generators. Walk on up 
to the treasure to pick it up. Where is it? Ah, there it is. Uh, turned a little too far. I didn't see any other uh, depots like that anywhere. Oh. Never mind, I'm just blind. I swear I'm a competent pilot. I'm competent enough anyway. I can read, I can write, and I passed the drug test. They can't fire me now. Oh, this is a weapons depot? Ah, that seemed to do damage to me. Son of a bitch. There we go. Your turn. Kind of why I like cannons a little better. I have a little more margin of error here. hold. That's not good. My right shoulder appears to be hold. do need to improve a little bit, but 600,000 sea bills. I 
Our reputation has gone up a little bit. Uh, is this a salvage we got? Plane is salvage from the battlefield. Uh, take these two, I think. Can actually take two. Uh, I'm going to take two machine guns. And we leveled up our evasion, apparently. Good payout, though. It's got a completion reward. Nice, nice. Battle mechs. Okay. How long will it take to repair this? Three days. Fuck. Okay, yeah. Oh no, the javelin's gonna take seven, or it's gonna take ten days to fix. Oops. Yeah, look at this. Fahad, how you doing? Hey, boss mate, that was quite the haul you brought back. Gonna make the repairs a bit easier now. But don't go getting stalls in your eyes or nothing. I'm overworked as it is, and this ship needs a lot of loving, eh? So your Centurion is still gonna take plenty of time to fix. All right. But yeah, like I said, nice job out there. Your old man will be proud. Now, if there's nothing else, gonna get back at you. All right, a lot of work to do. Story of my life. Yeah, uh, cool. Okay, uh, what I need to know now is how to progress time. Because, uh, we ain't doing nothing without those mechs, and those neither of them are operational. While you were planet side, I got word from Spears about the plan he's put in place for us. Did he know? Take a listen. Rihanna, Commander. Good news. I think I can get you safely past the blockade with the aid of a local mining company. Hmm. To make everything work, I'm gonna have to find you guys a recycled mercenary identification number. A new identity, essentially. Nick's Cavaliers, for all intents and purposes, no longer exists. I'll match that number to a new name of your choosing once the time comes. So I better be able to choose it. Call yourselves. While I arrange that, you're gonna have to do a little work for the mining company in exchange for their cooperation. Things go well, they've agreed to hire you to transport some precious cargo out of the system aboard an inbound jump ship. Using the new mercenary ID and with a legitimate contract in hand, you should have no problem slipping through the blockade. I've attached the particulars to this message. I'll be in touch once you've completed the mission. Good luck. I already reviewed the information Spears sent. Hmm. The mission is a straight-up protect and defend op. Seems these raiders have been harassing the mining company, among others. Stealing from them, extorting them, killing innocent civilians when their demands weren't met. I've uploaded the pertinent details into the mission briefing, so I won't repeat them here. You're good to launch any time, Commander. Roger that. I'll see you on the other side. Okay, but uh. Okay, that's how we. That's how we forward time. Good to see. Loadout. Alrighty. Can the... Okay, the arms can't take any machine guns, it seems. get to keep the flamer? Be 
because I uh, recall requesting the machine guns. for that. Okay. I could put the heat sink on the arms for some bloody reason. Let's go. Thirty-seven days of time, so by the time we finish this one, the Centurion will be fixed. Uh reduced visuals. No, it's still on the same damn planet. Smaller zone though. Take some salvage this time. The weather's really kicking up, Commander. Your visibility will be limited out there. Attention. Would be really cool to have a setup like this. <laughs> this is what I get a Hotas for, frankly. Okay, Commander. We know very little about these raiders' overall strength or sheer numbers. So keep a sharp lookout for enemy units on your approach to that settlement. Copy that. Next got some swing in its step. See that. Yeah, something's interfering with my sensors. I think the raiders have set up some sort of jamming device nearby. I'll see if I can locate it. I'm assuming me stomping through it is going to cause a problem, so let's maybe not do that. Hopefully that'll 
wouldn't mind losing a few cars, though. What's it look like I'm doing? I only got two lasers and they have significant cooldown. Ah, it's a bunch of hangers, they'll be fine. Nice work. These civilians are safe for the moment. Unfortunately, it appears the raiders aren't done causing trouble just yet. They're headed for the company's main processing facility on the other side of the mountain. You need to get there and thwart that attack, Commander. You got it. Understood. That's mostly okay. A few garages, part of a hab block. Uh, like three of the barracks, uh, four of the barracks. I'm sure they'll be fine. They can fix that up. The corporate insurance will cover it. Don't worry about it. Gotta remember my momentum when I hit the jumps. Because, uh, very important, it seems. Brianna, my sensors are getting worse. The jamming device the Raider set up is at the top of this pass, Commander. You're going to have to manage as best you can until you're able to take it out. Got it. Here's Johnny. Okay. With that jamming device eliminated, your sensors should have cleared up. Yeah, much better. Your onboard radar should also be operational now. You'll be able to detect enemies at a significant distance. Excellent. I guess those boulders are no match. Or no matter even in the smaller mech. They, uh, they seem to only be sending tanks, though. Something just shot at me, I'm pretty sure. Shut up, I'm working on it. You come down here and stop them. And the mission will probably be a mech shutdown. I hope so. Um, bam! Punching a thing in Mech Warrior, or is this the first one to do that? Empty. 
Hey, buddy. Back. Oh, fuck. That Igor is a piece of heavy machinery with tons of firepower. If left unchecked, it will do a lot of damage to the settlement. You should prioritize taking it out over the smaller enemies. I don't know what the fucking Igor is. Ah, oh, there it is. I don't have any missiles. Fade the black, never mind. Cannons? Cannons. Take some missile launchers. Kind of sniper cannon. Um, here, we'll take one of those. Or, I guess I can't. Oh, I've already used them all up. All right. Newbie missions, then. Yeah. I took half the damage I did last time, and I faced like probably three times the enemies, so. Shutting down the whole mining operation. Centurion is fixed now. Thing is, this thing's gonna cost a lot to fix up if it gets damaged. I'm already not a fan of these lasers, frankly. I like big gun better. Oh, now it shows me the machine guns. What, am I just not able to equip it on the other one? I guess it's just energy weapons. Oh, wow, we have a lot of these medium energy lasers. Look at that. Just wait till you get the big zappers. That's eh, fair. These tiny ones are kind of piddly little shits. Yeah, I can only equip medium lasers on this thing. God, that's lame. I want one that I can equip anything on, frankly. Alrighty. Uh, as for you, though... Okay, 
so we have to equip. They have to have the slots already on them. So is there a way to install weapon slots onto the arms and shit, or... Either way, time to paint. Uh, I believe we were using this one. But I have to remember what the fucking paint job I used was. It'd be lovely if Control C worked here. My god, it does. Well, hell. Very nice. Ah, eh, yeah, this doesn't look as much like... There are other mechs you can acquire that have more amendable to modifications. I figured as much. We'll have to acquire them as soon as possible. This is not called virus. That's... I forgot what the name, what the German name for this camo is, but that's what this is. I can prove it. See? It's kind of annoying that they don't just have, like, uh... They've got this set of patterns, but, um... I don't know, it, does, it feels a little more restrictive. Not the Aegis, exactly, but it's close enough. Alright, speak to Rihanna on the bridge. Having that big gun there is gonna make a big difference. Alrighty. Commander, it turns out the bastards who attacked us and who have set up the blockade are a mercenary outfit by the name of Black Inferno. Right. Unfortunately, that's about all we know at the moment. Spears and I will try to dig up more information if we can. The time will come when we can extract some proper vengeance. But right now, we have more pressing concerns. Inferno forces are closing in on our location. That means we only have a small window in which to fulfill our obligations to the mining company and haul ass out of here. The company wants us to take down the Raiders for good by destroying their base of operations. Once that's done, they'll arrange passage for us aboard the inbound jump ship. I've detailed the mission briefing, and it's waiting for your sign-off. You're free to launch whenever you're ready, Commander. Roger that. Seems like the only thing that my, uh, guy here says is just, Roger that. Alright. Contracts. Difficulty 5, it'll take 7 days to do. Uh, visibility will be excellent, thank god. Uh, the map is even smaller now, cool. We got more reps, so... So, uh... Noticeably, I'm earning a lot more money than I was in Battletech, so, uh... I guess I know how to play regular Mech Warrior a little better than I, uh... I know how to play Battletech. Oh, 
I'm gonna put one in each. Big guns and mech. Attention, prepare for battle mech departure. Warning, hangar doors open. Stand clear. These raiders are taking down our murderers and thieves, Commander. Don't show them any mercy. Still think the torso is a little awkward on this. You get the horns. That's it. Exactly. I got enemy contacts up ahead, Commander. They must have detected us on the way in. Yeah, I noticed. I shot one of them, and you shot one of them too. Jesus, you're a tanky bastard, aren't you? I'm going to scatter around real quick. See if there's anything of interest to shoot at. Also to possibly do before I decide to uh, leave. Somebody's shooting at me from there anyway, so guess I don't have the chance to explore. That's fine. Who did that? My main gun's disabled again. Why? Do I have to like reload it or something? Get you. I'm gonna punch you in the face. Actually, no. I can't 
can't tell if it's damaged or just not firing, and I'm not sure why. Target acquired. Oh, damn it, inside minimum range. Why does it seem like the missiles are just fucking worthless when it comes to taking down aircraft? I swear to god, like, 90% of the missiles miss. Like, lasers are better anti-air than a lock-on weapon. See it now. God damn it, the minimum range. Do I have to, like, reload my gun, or is it damaged, or what's the deal with it? Hold on. Oh! I can just make this mech control. I'm not going to, but I can. Toggle chain fire, toggle weapon group. I'm actually going to look this up real quick. Why is it doing that? Right, because it doesn't seem like there's anything wrong with it. It just randomly grayed out for some reason. I'm not out of ammo, though. I have seven, 73 rounds left. Like, it's not showing if it got disabled or something. Like, I, I don't understand why it just all of a sudden stopped functioning. And there's no reloading, so... You've deselected it from the weapon group. How did I deselect it from the weapon group? How did, That is the second time that's happened. I didn't even do anything.
what is doing that? Is there a button that, is there a hotkey that, like, deselects it? Because if there is, I'm getting rid of it immediately. That's fucking annoying. Okay, that's human controls. Main menu, weapon groups. Not that, I didn't, like, unbound it, though. Unbind it, though. Not on purpose, anyway. So I'd like to know what exactly... Fucker. Beautiful, there Time we go. To finish destroying that base, Commander. First of all, don't want their fucking officers. Second of all. Is that a part of the river base? Yep. I don't know what the hell that was, but it's gone. Word, now Fuck now that walkway in particular. Zone. Roger that. I have a feeling it's keypad enter or something. I wasn't even hitting the keypad. Well, that makes this even worse. Also, how did they set up this much infrastructure here? In the short time the invasion was going on. Oh, hold on. Thank you. Oh, you motherfucker. Thought I blew that one up. Yeah, that's kind of why I wanted the machine guns instead of the lasers on the, um, on the javelin. God damn it, I was taking a drink. Dumbass. That spider is a slippery one. What it lacks in offensive capabilities, it makes up for with speed and agility. A deadly combination if it gets into your blind spots. This one seems to have pre existing damage on his right leg. If you're having trouble hitting the critical areas, try focusing fire there instead. All right, motherfucker, you you're, you're getting the you're getting these hands now. Advantage. Come on. Nicely done, Commander. Get to the extraction point, and I'll pick you up. 
Nothing to it. Just punched him straight in the face. Uh, that being said, my armor is hold. Um, and our right, our left leg and uh, front chassis is gone. Or at least the armor is gone. Should have the money to repair it, but I'd rather not, considering this thing already took a beating in the cutscene. a hell of a payout. That should cover the repair costs. Alright. Mm. Nothing's really jumping out at me, frankly. I guess we'll take the more expensive stuff. Leveled up our reduces chance of overheating. Okay, that's good. 101,000 credits. And 50,000 cyber bills. Or C bills. Central bills? Currency bills. Uh, cash bills. armor was just hold, and apparently the front of this thing was just completely ripped off. It's neat that you can actually see the, the, uh, the battle damage when you come back here, though. That's cool. I like that. Oh, oh we gotta speak to him. Yeah, we wrecked it just as soon as you fixed it. Hey there, Gov. I hear we finally got a name for these bastards you've been chasing us down. Black bloody inferno, right? Well, that's a lot of bollocks, isn't it? You know what a black inferno is? It's bloody smoke, mate. All right then. Nice chat. Gonna get back to work now. He could not be any more violently British if he tried. The next thing he's gonna say is something about getting a spot of tea, having a puff of a cigarette, and God help me if he says one word about commoners. Hi, Commander. Thanks to your efforts, the mining company have kept their word and booked us transport on a jump ship. Spears has also obtained a new mercenary ID number. So, all we need to do now is choose a new name for our merc outfits, and we're good to go. I'll leave that up to you. Once you've registered the new name, come back and see me. Please don't tell me it's preset. Do. Uh, oh wait, no, this is just the emblems. Okay, I'm playing Lost Oasis, I'm unlocking stuff and doing things. I got the itch and can't wait. No, that's fair. Uh, that being said, uh, Jack and I were playing on another server. It's also PvE, but it has like one PvP map, and it's, uh, scaled down. People there are nice. Uh, you want to join us there, you're welcome to. I already have a stiletto. Okay. This, this one's funny, I like this one, but let's see what else there is. What is it called? I have completely forgotten, but when I jump back online, I will tell you. <laughs> this one's kind of funny, too. Nothing else is really jumping out at me. This is like the closest we have to the channel emblem. But, uh... I like the Molotov one. We're going to take that. And then, of course, the usual Merc Company name for us. Wolfram Corps. 
Oh, wait, no, not Wolfram Corps, it's Wolfram Task Force, never mind. Fuck. Can I fix that? Nope. Okay. Eh, it's a variation of it anyway. It's, it all means the same thing. Switching okay, on the bridge. Commander. Everything is set for our departure. The transport contract with the mining company is a false flag Spears and I set up with their cooperation. The mining company has legally hired us to transport cargo for them. But in reality, there is no cargo. Just a destination and some very convincing paperwork. So, where are we headed? We've been asked by Spears to help him out of a jam. I think we owe him. I agree. What's he need us to do? Spears works for Interstellar Expeditions, one of the largest archaeological collectives in the Inner Sphere. They do archaeological digs and conduct research into abandoned Star League era facilities in the pursuit of lost technology from before the Succession Wars. One of the expedition's dig sites has come under attack. A rogue mercenary group is intent on pillaging a Star League supply depot that IE uncovered on Brooklyn Prime. We're going in to help protect the site. Spears will provide more detailed information on what exactly we're facing once we arrive. For now, I've uploaded the coordinates into the nav system. Before we can launch, you need to sign off on the op and get us to the system. Roger that. That's the op. Last man standing, situation is higher, Merc outfit Spears hired to protect the dig site, it's taking heavy losses, can't hold out much longer, need to get down on the surface and report them. Before we do that, uh, next event. Uh, no, actually, excuse me, we didn't see, we didn't do the repairs apparently. see one thing though. So the AC5 is a longer range. It does less damage. It also weighs less. Oh, I was hoping I could fit two into it. Ah, shit. Ah, well. thinking if you see smoke coming out kind of, out of uh, coming out of my ears that's why thinking is hard fuck it only says one it didn't give me any specifics Oh, it barely reduces it, that's why. Hmm. Uh, 
Alrighty. Let's go, boys. Any jump animation. Also, I was. I assumed something would go horribly wrong. Temperate rainforest. some of the damage costs. Let's split it. Just like that. Alright. Let's drop in and punch people in the face. Oh, uh, Kith. It is a North American East server, so... That's the one thing I remember about it, and it had five cells in it. So that should narrow it down a little bit. Alrighty. Let's see what we've gotten ourselves into. I'm picking up one friendly, just ahead of your current position. Unidentified enemy units engaging. Copy that. The only thing my character ever says is fucking. My blackjack has suffered critical damage, and I am under assault by raider forces. Please, I need backup. Don't worry, I'll drive these raiders back. Keep out of sight and hunker down. How did that not take him down? Arms are taking a bit of a beating, but armor's holding. Another friendly under attack, Commander. Straight ahead. Yeah, I see him. You made it. Thank God. Pick a target and have at them. I could use the help. Working on it. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. 
Come on, buddy. Throw your face. It's a hell of a lot easier clearing these bastards out with some help, Commander. Spear send you? Yeah, said you guys needed some reinforcements. That's an understatement. My entire lance was wiped out. They came down on us like a ton of bricks out of nowhere. Wave after wave. Been holding them off as best I can, but I don't think I could have held out much longer. Well, we're here now, and right. we've got your back. I think that's called a coyote, that one? That. Seriously. Can't tell you how good it is to see some. There's like one of the starter ones you get. I don't remember. We still need to protect this site. Copy that. But they'll be coming back soon enough. Like I said, they attack in waves, and they haven't shown any signs of letting up. I saw some defensive turrets. Those should help. Yeah, I set them up when they started digging. There's a turret generator close by, up on the hill. It cycled off after the third or fourth wave hit us. It's still off at the moment. You want to try cycling it back on? I'll watch your six. Sure thing. Hostile contacts. Inbound. Looks like a mix of airborne and enemy armor, Commander. Them. Target destroyed. Turrets are now online and active, Commander. Now they're actually hitting. Oh, this might damage my legs. Yep. Now we're actually doing something. I like how the fire is actually burning the grass and shrubs around. That's nice. Apparently these shell... Apparently this shell just can't go through trees. Nice shooting. There's a repair bay we can use. First, you need to cycle on the second turret generator. Okay, I'm on it. There's a second turret generator. Multiple hostiles converging on your location, Commander. I'm picking up 10, 12 bogies this time. I told you, these guys never quit. I meant to lock first. God damn it. Trying to. Okay, 
that's an MLRS. Is it MRL? Us. Well, he rocks that light neck pretty good. Gotta get him. Ooh, good hit. Last guy can wait. I want to turn on that repaired thing. Fix up my armor. What the fuck? When did where did they come from? Let's take these bastards down. Where the fuck did they come from? No, you, prob you probably are, but uh, it's fun to blow shit up, so. Target Get over here, pal. I got something for you. Yeah! You'd think these tank commanders would be smart enough to keep their asses away from the mechs that can one tap them. Even in the unlikely event that they do find a data core, I'll put C bills down that it's either destroyed, corrupted, or heavily encrypted. Target acquired. That's probably gonna hit. That's okay, I've got heavy guns too. Call them ACs. Those mechs are coming in. Yeah, so much for covering our ass. Please, just let me turn on the generator. That's all I want to do. Well, I turned it on, but I don't know where the repair bay is. Mm. 
Okay, this is a bit of a problem. Ah, uh, blew off his gun. All right, where you going, buddy? Oh, you're running now? You're running scared? Oh, that's a, that's a wall. Where, where are you going? That's right, fucking nowhere. Sit down. Armor's pretty damn hold. That's a bit of a problem. Looks like he's also running scared. Now my armor's pretty friggin' damaged. Didn't even get to use the repair stand. Let me use the repair bay first, if you don't mind. Just wanted to say thanks for the rescue. Nah, I heard nothing. Before you showed up, I lost some good friends today. Good pilots. Just the repair bay. I don't think I could have held out much longer myself if you hadn't dropped it. I appreciate it. I'm glad we were able to help. Just wish we'd gotten here sooner. Me too. Well, it looks like one of the servers just upgraded to 14 pounds. Oh boy. Ooh, With your hell. skills, we come in awful handy. What do you think? After today, hell, it'd be an honor to serve with you, Commander. Then consider it done. Welcome aboard. Beautiful. We don't have to spend a lot of money on repairs. Blew up two enemy max. A lot of tanks. Jenner, I see. What's the coyote? Hold on. No, that's not how to spell coyote. Oh, no, that's the name of the DLC. Is that how you spell coyote? I swear, there's a light mech called the Coyote. Might be this.
I might be thinking of this one. Or the Locust. In fact, I'm most likely thinking of the Locust. No, I am just thinking of the Jenner. Okay, never mind. Alrighty, what the fuck do we got here? Uh, three event tiles. Oh, bloody hell, that sounds like a lot. Speaking of a lot, we got a lot of loot to pick from here. Six tiles of it, in fact. Uh, we got AC-5s, we got LRM-10s, Class 4 jump jets. I'm gonna take two of these. Um, take one of these. One of these, and how about one of these? We have gotten Lieutenant Leon Freeman who, uh, looks like he got seriously fucked up in his Jenner. It's a bit worse for wear at the moment. Yeah, uh, he, it looks like he lost one of his eyes. Or, at the very least, is just, um, has a heavily damaged eye. He's got a huge gash through his left forearm. Uh, leg looks a bit cut up. Um, and it also looks like he just threw up a ton of blood. Um, which means he's probably lost a few teeth. And possible lung damage. But, it's all good. I'll be fine. He's already got the color scheme, look at that. Yeah. Ooh, this thing looks fucked up, dude. Technically, my color scheme was already the one we were using, so, um... A flamer? Oh, no, that's what I have. Never mind. Um... I don't understand why that's not there, frankly. Well, I can, I can equip it. Interesting. Yeah, just for one change, not really worth it. Four day repair, get it done. A little helmet mech is, uh, Nah. Yeah, look at that. This time we didn't come in with the armor completely melted off. We've got our Jenner now. Alrighty. What do we Hi, got? Commander. Excellent work protecting that dig site. Spears thinks you did a hell of a job. Good. A chip off the old block were his exact words. Referring to your father, of course. That's quite the compliment coming from him. As you know, your father and Spears did a lot of work together over the years. Proved quite lucrative, too, for both of them. Hopefully, we can continue that relationship. Let's hope so. But we need more than one client if we're going to survive out here. That's what I wanted to talk with you about. Our next move. We're operating with a clean slate now, thanks to the new mercenary ID number Spears provided. Hmm. A whole new name, new outfit. Now, we need to get to work rebuilding our capabilities and establishing our reputation. Won't be easy, but nothing worth doing ever is. You up for it? What do you think? I think we better get started then. Plenty of war zones in the inner sphere where we can pick up work. A few safe harbors as well. Places we can hire more pilots, get our hands on cheap supplies. First, we need to earn some sea bills to pay for it all. Other than that, I see a bright future ahead of us, Commander. Me too. Speaking of the future, we have a pending transmission from IE already. 
Seems Spears has put the word out to his colleagues that we can be trusted to get the job done. Hmm. Before diving right in, I recommend we head to one of the industrial hubs in this region. Pockets of relative stability where we can acquire new equipment and mechs, hire new pilots. We have more mechs than mech warriors at the moment, so it would be good to expand the ranks. Repairs are cheaper in these regions too. Either way, I've marked the location of the IE contract on the star map. It's there whenever you're ready. Roger that. Thanks, Rihanna. You're welcome, Commander. I've noticed that there is a slight difference between audio quality here. Um, Rihanna here sounds like she's actually in the ship. Uh, Mason does not. <laughs> there is no reverb to, to Mason's voice, and it's very disorienting. Also, what is this? Marketplace. Ooh. Interesting. AC2 burst fire. AC20, that's a hell of a big gun. Ballistic weapon with short range but high damage. Oh yeah, this thing is basically just a siege mortar. Interesting. Fires 20 guided missiles, that's ridiculous. Short range missile system, four unguided missiles. Alright. Alright, we're gonna take. First of all, I'm gonna save. Oh, it auto saved. Never mind. We're gonna take a quick ad break. We'll be right back after these messages. Alright, we're back. Hopefully, the ads weren't too long and oh, overlapping, for that matter. All right, back to it. First things first. Uh, fix up. Our, oh, it's already repairing. Right. Uh, next event. Payday. Ooh. Actually, it wasn't too bad. Alrighty. Star map. Navigate the star map using the mouse. I am aware of how a star map works, yes. Pan across the star map, hold down the right mouse button. Mouse wheel. Click on it and the course will be plotted. Oh boy. Travel cost and sea bills on time. Planning course. You are limited to a maximum of 10 jumps at once. Okay, so the max range of the uh, jump ships is that. Conflict zones or areas, you'll only be able to find mission contracts. Yeah. Industrial hubs with the best stock markets and their systems. Typically, better state of repair. What was that? Higher tier. Conflict zones. Appearance modifications to maximum equipment can be initiated when in an industrial hub, not subject to additional charges or durations. Alright, so. We're in a conflict zone right here. Brooklyn. No, that doesn't look like Brooklyn. I know what Brooklyn looks like. And that ain't it. For one, Brooklyn isn't in space. And two, Brooklyn's a shithole. Um. Let's see here. Uh. Do you sell mechs? There we are. A spider with both of its arms gone. Fantastic. Uh, this thing is a piece of shit. <laughs> Ain't no fucking way I'm taking this. For three million credits. Give me a goddamn break. <laughs> nah. Nah, son. Co-op with locks. Cool. A mercenary base to steal supplies. You got it. Fifty thousand in thirteen days. So is this our jump ship now, or is this...
company owned or what's the deal with it? This is the one that oh, this is assassination. Hazard pay. We got hazard pay. Why do we get hazard pay? I want to make you do this. How about? The weather's really kicking up, Commander. Your visibility Ice will fog. be limited out there. So I'm gonna say we do this on our own. I think we should be able to. All in all, I'm enjoying this game. Uh, like okay, I said, my only gripe is the, the first cutscene should have been a playable thing. The us and this company's supplies is their leader, Anders Willman. Take him out, and we'll be able to get our salvage crew's planet side. Willman's forces have mostly fled the area, but you should still expect some resistance. Hmm. Cargo pods anywhere? Should I be looking for them, or is that a waste of time? Are they like preset things, or target acquired? Target destroyed. Why on earth was there? Target acquired. going on over here? Nothing? Do I get more money for kills? Or was that just a waste of my damn time? Also, what's with all these artillery guns? Should I be nailing them too? Are those something important to destroy? Guns are actively cracking something, but I don't know what. Those appear to be artillery pieces. I think the bigger question is, uh, will they go and aim at me? Got it, German fellow. Ah, 
that's a lot of damage. Oh, well, this ain't good. Yeah, uh, that was a failure. Maybe I should have brought my teammate along. Okay, Commander. The only thing standing between us and this company's supplies is their leader, Anders Willman. Take him out, and we'll be able to get our salvage crew's planet side. Willman's forces have mostly fled the area, but you should still expect some resistance. goes one of his arms. There's both arms. Alright. Wilman is out of the picture. And we'll be able to get ourselves some of his much needed resources. And hey, the inner sphere is a better place without him. Is it? Commander, let's get you out of here now. Did he do something? I didn't read the description. I just kind of, I just kind of slammed my hand down on the keyboard and accepted it. I can get a mech with a better turn rate. That'd be nice. better that time. I am kind of wondering how, uh, but what you call it works, the first person shooter controls work. I guarantee you. We can take all this. I guarantee you that it works exactly like, um, Rigador. And by that I mean Risk. Oh, we got a locust. And a medium laser. Hmm. Ooh, better medium lasers, actually. Took a risk, but it looks like it paid off in space for both of us. 
Operational mech chassis. None of my clients are in the market for scout mechs. Nice. This thing can take, or this thing does have machine guns. It's actually quite small. I'll see what he means now by scout mech. Hmm. We might just strip and sell this. Costs money to strip? We'll wait till it's, uh, the equipment is taken off. There we are. Good shit. They sell a locust. Or the, yeah. All right. This thing isn't very good anyway. I do think it had a custom loadout though, which could have made it useful, but. Uh. Armored Core Son or Evangelion Daughter? Uh, Armored Core Son. Yeah. Because I don't think Evangelion have a game. I would have gone for child neglect myself. <laughs> nah, listen. Listen. If this son is better at me than Armored Core, then that means that somehow he's managed to, from my genetic DNA, unlock the gene for a better reaction time. And we need that in the family. So I'm keeping that. <laughs> that, that needs to move on. That's called getting one-upped. It doesn't matter if I'm getting one-upped or not. Oh, yes, I most certainly fucking can and will. Disrespect. It's not disrespect. It's, uh... It's called securing the future. <laughs> Child neglect. You can neglect your children all you want. I, however, will encourage light builds. <laughs> Because my loadout is going to be the fucking tank. Alright. The only mission we have here is this one. Which will piss off the Outworlds Alliance. Uh, but make House Kirito a little better. A little nicer to us. Facility on... And we'll do this. Um... Pre-roll ad. Pre ads are on. Run an ad break to disable them. It's on. And we don't have a very good rep with them to begin with. Fuck it. I want to get paid. Actually, wait a minute. Can't we take a look at the other contracts on the star map? Black market available. War zone contracts. Demolition contracts. Uh, 
up here. What's going on with Sturges? Scout security against independence. What about here? A lot of fighting towards independence. Yeah, we'll do this one. Set course. I'm gonna be honest, I keep seeing people playing Starfield, but the more and more I hear about Starfield, the more and more I, I kind of don't want to play it. At least not for the current price they're setting. I don't know, like, from what it seems like a lot of the stuff in it... Like, like I own No Man's Sky, and I own it for $15. And it seems to do more. I mean, the most thing that... No Man's Sky is lacking in is there's no like major cities type deals and there's no there's not as much interaction with characters there's no like character quest lines because it's all randomly generated but I feel like Hello Games if they really wanted to could probably make a serious update that adds that stuff I mean they've been doing pretty good on their updates recently the Dreadnought stuff is interesting although uh, I think I need to be quicker with it What I want to know is, how can I equip my freighter to do Dreadnought combat? How can I equip it to shoot? I want to know how to do that. Take contracts and expand your company. You got it. The first, black market. Okay, so the larger... Yeah, so class 5 is like... I see now. SRM 6. PPC. Party kill heavy cannon. Particle projectile cannon that fires higher energy ion bolts. Creates a brief disruption field within 90 meters of the impact. I think that's what I was being shot at with. They're also selling burst fires here. Thing is, what's the burst rate? These are auto cannons. Oh no, they're all auto cannons. Never mind. PPC is a good one. That a big zappy. So big, it is a cannon. Oh yeah, no, that's blue. I don't think I can use it on uh, anything. Especially because the lar the hard point size is large, and I've had. Ballistic hard points. Hmm. What do they sell in terms of? It's just locusts again. Okay. Kind of tempted to see how this works. Might have to exchange a heat sink for this. Alrighty. I do also want to give it more AC ten ammo. We're going to need it if we're going to use a burst fire. I'm 
That's for you. We actually have a better M laser, so we could give him that. Cue that up. Why does your mech look like shit? Now it's showing all the different color schemes now. It wasn't before, which is odd. Of course, we are going to keep you on default. And I'll be honest, uh, we're probably not going to take our javelin out uh, ever. <laughs> Contracts. Uh, this is a defensive one. And this is demolition. Continue. From you, we would ask for more payout. And more salvage. Heavy weather warning is in effect, Commander. Your visibility and sensor readings will be compromised out there. Send you out in the Jenner. What is the contract here? I don't care. Blow things up. We'll have to get a mech that can mount something like that. There is a New Year's. Don't get yourself killed, Freeman. You do not need that. Kind of forgot that this thing basically has a drive, and me not holding W doesn't affect whether or not I move forward. Why did you just randomly Cargo shoot it? Acquired. Oh! Ooh! Ooh! The gun go burnt! somewhere. 
There it is. There it is. I'll leave the rest of the demolition job up to you, Commander. Ooh. Oh, I love this burst. Where you going, buddy? Wow, it's actually not garbage. Excellent find, Commander. Yeah, SRM two. Beginning recovery oh. now. Oops. Did you just shoot a beam at me or something? Fire starters are fun. Wait till you get one of those to give your team to use. Fair enough. There's a walking flying DVD in there. Take a look at that. Oof. Loving this burst gun. I wouldn't exactly call this major, but... Come on, get over here. Get over here, coward. Oh, hello, you. I didn't realize my hole was that low. Uh, I think I need to equip some jump jets on this thing. That wasn't good. <laughs> At least we know where the stuff is this time, unless the map's changed, but I don't think it has. We have been tasked with the destruction of an industrial center mod at nav point alpha. Be sure to watch your fire around any pipes or tanks, as the contents have the potential of being explosive. That's a good thing. to get him something heavier. Oh, not, I wanted to lock it first before doing that. AC-20. Cool, I don't have to buy one of those now. Target of 
Unbound my fucking gun again. Why does it keep doing that? I'm loving this first gun, though. Nice. Oh, we're being jammed. Hey there, buddy. Goodbye. Now we get a burst fire. Didn't even have to spend money on this shit. Damn it. do without a lot of things, buddy. Those aren't part of the base.
somewhere? AC? Fuck. I did it. I think we do. I'm hearing laser fire somewhere. salvage too. I cannot believe that we just picked up the gun I literally just spent 700000 on. Son of a bitch. Just my luck. Gotta go. We have got to go. Shotgun weapon they have is brutal. Uh, so he's just straight up dead, I'm assuming. I wasn't expecting a heavy this uh, to just pop out that early. Oh, huh. I think this is uh, the one we lost. I don't know what this is. I'm gonna take it. Oh, uh, well, his mech is trash, but he's injured, so he's... Not dead, but... Christ, two million in damages. That was horrible. Okay, we got one of these. I don't know what this is. A commando. 500,000. This isn't even worth half of what... Ugh.
Yeah, we might just have him pilot this one. Is gonna have to sell this one off. And as for this one, uh, what does it have? Where are these SRM fours? Uh, Salvage it as well. Pilot hire. Destruction of a next head or the destruction of the next center torso. Nobody to hire here. I don't think we have enough time to do another, uh, thing, unfortunately. Everybody's healed up now. Black market. Right. It's commando. Uh, it goes. The Jenner. It goes. So that about made up for our losses here. That being said. I wish I could fit another heat sink on it. Do you have any better weapons? Energy weapons, that is. I'm gonna purchase that one so we can use it later. No, no better laser weapons. Figures. Well, I'll have to look somewhere else to get some heavier mechs at some point. pretty good. I like it. Uh, the only problem now is that I want to continue to play it uh, by myself, but I can't. I technically could start a save, I suppose, of my own. I just might. That's a problem with starting series like this on games that um, you know you're not going to play often, but you really enjoy. Uh, which is also kind of the problem with uh, Last Oasis, at least with uh, Spario and... Uh, Kith here. Stand by for a raid. Alrighty. Who are we raiding today? We could check this category, see who's here and who's where. Uh, if it decides to load this century, that is. Make warrior five mercenaries. It's kind of weird that the rest of them aren't here. Who the fuck is this and why it is... Alright, I want to... I want to... Right, so we have... My channel, which is number three on the board for uh, MechWarrior, four viewers. Then we have um, a guy by the name of Kodiak Fire Knight with nine viewers. And then we have WBPL76, which sounds like a football name. It sounds like the name for a Super Bowl or a football organization with 72 viewers. Good Lord. And is the only tag he has is that is a different robot. So naturally, we're going to raid him. Because <laughs> I want to know what the heck his username is about. WP. 
what was it? WPLN? WBP, blech, WBPL76. What an odd name. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Avril Y11 signing off. I will see you on Wednesday for I'm going to try and set up H3MP, but if not, well, I'll, I'll probably just be playing that on my own. Um, make sure to give this, uh, this fellow, this 76 fellow, a warm welcome, and I will see you on Wednesday. Have a good night.